Hi guys, it is Tuesday, March 5th, and I'm just doing my check-in. I, what did I have today? I had nachos for breakfast, and then a small handful of the Cadbury chocolate eggs. Not like the, the cream-filled ones, but like the little, the minis. Um, I had a couple of those. I've been diligently trying to remember to drink my water and I think that's all I've had today, which is not nothing, right? Um, yesterday I hadn't planned on eating anything else, um, but about eight o'clock or so, I was getting a little peckish. So I made myself a small plate of nachos yesterday and then I had a couple Cadbury mini eggs last night. I might've had a little mandarin orange too. But uh, I had a dream last night where even though I wasn't losing weight, um, my back was like smoothed out, like totally smoothed out. It was crazy. And I was so excited about it because I'm like, this means it's working. Yeah. And I was like, I was pretty stoked about it. And then I woke up and um, I was not nearly as smooth or fit as I was in the dream, which was, you know, slightly disappointing, I have to say. But what are you going to do, right? You just keep on. You got you to keep living. So um, the bruise on my right leg is, um, it's fading. But like I showed you guys yesterday, still there. The one on my left leg, still very thin. So I'm not quite sure what the difference is there. Haven't reached out to my uh, cousins yet to ask about if there's different methods of doing the injections, if that's maybe a reason. Um, I still need to do that. I should do that today. Other than that, it's been pretty low key. What did we do yesterday? We watched some more of the Resident Alien series. We're now on season two. We've watched a couple episodes of that. And it's such a cute show. It's I'm very interested to see where it's going to go um, for season two. But didn't watch any movies or anything. Played a couple rounds of Minecraft Dungeons, but not a whole heck of a lot. I, like I mentioned before, we're kind of at a point in the game where we've done everything. There's not a lot left to do. So then you're just grinding for like maybe better gear and it can get kind of frustrating sometimes. So I don't know, maybe we'll pick up another game if you guys have any uh, games that you recommend that would be for the Xbox, because that's what I have. Um, that Let me know about it. Um, I don't like first person shooter games. I kind of like the role playing games. Um, I like games where there's a quest. My youngest keeps trying to get me to play Roblox. There's no flipping point to that game. There are so many different types of games on the Roblox platform. I hate them all. I just, I think they're so pointless. You're just running around doing nothing. One could argue that's what you do with basically any uh, computer or video game, but I, I tend to feel like, you know, Guild Wars or um, just something that has a quest, you know, like there's, there's a point to do, like Elder Scrolls. You've, you're working towards something. Even Minecraft Dungeons, you're working to defeat the Arch Illager. So there's there's something that you're supposed to be doing there. Oh, last night, um, I had told our house uh, via uh, Google to um, turn off the lights because we've got a fairly smart house and we can control like temperature and lights and things like that with the different speakers that we have around the house. So I told it to turn off the lights and it did. And then my husband told him to turn them back on. And then he tried using the good night feature. And then it wanted him to set up like all these um, alarms and alerts. And then it said that it would play these like nighttime sounds to help us sleep much more than he was looking for. So we were laughing about it, but um, we left the nighttime sounds on it. It was like crickets and you know some chirping and it was a little loud. So we turned it down had that thing on all night. I woke up at four o'clock as is my usual to um, go to the bathroom. And then I still left it on and then fell asleep. It was like you were sleeping outside. It was, it was kind of fun. So I, I liked that aspect that we found out about some of our technology that we've had in the house for the last couple of years. Kind of fun. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, health wise, everything's good. Not too much gas or bloating going on today, which is nice. Now, again, I did just have some corn chips, nachos, you know, not too long ago. So maybe I'll bloat later. I don't know. It's always a fun surprise, right? Trying to see what happens day by day. 
In the meantime, I'm just working on um, some graphics with Stable Diffusion. I used to use Mid Journey, and uh, I I sell like graphic prints and um, things like that on some print on demand sites. And I was using Mid Journey, but uh, it was expensive to, to have my graphics be private so that nobody else could see them or use them. It's like $60, $65 a month. And I just was like, I'm not, I'm not seeing the return on it because I don't make a lot of sales, you know. So I've just started using Stable Diffusion more. But Stable Diffusion with Mid Journey, you could just say a very basic, hey, create me a fun, whimsical Easter scene. And it would come up with like four different ideas. And usually they're all really good with very little disfiguration. Um, with Stable Diffusion, you could say, create me a cute Easter scene with lambs and bunnies. And like they try to hybridize them. You'll have like a half lamb, half bunny. So I'm still working on how to create my prompts appropriately. So I don't get like these weird hybridized, disfigured whatevers. The other thing is I have written a number of children's books, right? I would like them to be illustrated. I am a crap artist. So using these AI, AI tools, it should be a little bit easier, but not one of them so far has a consistent like character maker. Now, if you're doing it with like, you know, a cute little freckled red haired girl who wears a green dress and this, that, and the other, you can get some pretty similar um, drawings that where you could use that for your stuff. Well, a lot of the stuff I write is like, you know, about a monster or about a dragon or about whatever. And it's, a, it's they're part of a series like Berenstain Bears, Berenstain Bears, um, kind of think of that. Anyway, so it, it's like if it, it doesn't know what like a blue fluffy monster is or a cute small baby green dragon. Like I have these ideas in my head, but it really struggles with non-human. A lot of these programs struggle with non-human consistent characters. So that's something that I'm trying to work with because I do believe to find like an actual artist, I should pay a fair amount of money because that's somebody's livelihood, right? But at the same time, I don't have, you know, $500 to $1,000 to $2,000 to pay an artist what they're worth, which is why I'm trying to utilize AI tools. So one of these days I will get these books illustrated and then I'll get them up either on Amazon's KDP program or I will just publish them um, on my own and then list them on Amazon. Not quite sure which way I'm going to run with that one yet. If you list them straight through the Amazon KDP program, they use their own ISBN numbers. I think you can use your own now. They used to be where you had to use theirs, but the problem with that is if you go with the KDP print on demand version, um, they they can cancel your account for like anything. You know, it's I don't want to put all of my eggs in one basket. Whereas if I'm printing them myself and then just listing them for sale on Amazon, it's a lot less likely that I'm going to end up getting screwed. So when will that actually happen though? Who's to say? Because I need flipping designs and uh, illustrations before I can get those up either on KDP or Kindle Unlimited or any of those type of platforms. So that's still a work in progress. All right. I will see you guys later. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. Bye.